Hello, friends. Today is the one year anniversary for my YouTube channel. I posted the first video、uh, one year ago.、Um, okay, today let's solve a geometry problem. This is a called minimum area rectangle two. Given a set of points in the x y plane, determine the minimum area of any rectangle formed from those points. With sides not necessarily parallel to the x and y axes, so the difficulty is that、uh, these rectangles do not necessarily parallel to x and y axes. So it may be difficult、uh, for us to calculate the area. Okay, let's see. Let's first recall how to calculate the area of a rectangle. We just、uh, use the length times width. So this problem, we need to check whether there are four points.、Um, they can form a rectangle. So we can induce that to we first uh, uh, look for three points, and they can form they can form a triangle, a right triangle. And、uh, we can find the fourth point according to these three points. So、uh, we can iterate all the points and、uh, treat every point as a possible right rectangle point. And we use another two points. Try to check whether these three points can form a right rectangle. Uh, so that will be easy to calculate the area. So first,、uh, the area should just be the distance between i j times distance between i k, right? So how to get、uh, the distance between i j, which just、uh, be the x i minus x j square plus y i minus y j square, and、uh, we Get their square root, right? And use this square root times this square root, just、uh, this formula. We can call this x j minus x i d x one because we will use this afterwards, and we call it d y one. This is d x two. This is d y two, which is this x k minus x i and the、uh, y k minus Y I. Okay. Ah,、uh, this is according to the this formula. Assume this angle is um is um ninety degree. Then we can get、uh, a square plus b square equal to c square. Okay. So ah,、uh, as I said before, we get、uh, these three points right. But how do we get the four grid? But at first, we should check whether this angle is a ninety degree. How to check? Actually, just the slope of these two lines. They are um um their product should be negative one. That means slope.、Uh, I j times slope I k should be negative one, right? So we get、uh, y j minus y i divide uh, uh, x j minus x i times y k minus y j over x k minus x. Oh, sorry, this should be i i, and it equal to negative one, and、uh, we. Uh, times these two parts on both sides, then we move this part to left. Then we can get、uh, dy times dy one plus dx one times dx two equal to zero because this is dx one, this is dx two. So we get、uh, this formula. We just、uh, check whether this. Mm, part equal to zero. If it equal to zero, that means this place is ninety degree. Otherwise, we just、uh, continue try to find the three points can form a ninety.
90 degree. Okay. Uh, now that we get these three points, we need to try to find the fourth point, right? This is we should apply the diagonals intersect. Uh, that means the middle of these two points should be the same as the middle of these two points. So how to get the coordinate of these two points? Just xj plus xk divide 2. That should equal to xm plus xi divide 2. Uh, so the same for the y-axis. So we get this. And uh, you will find that actually we can combine xj minus xi or xk minus xi. So that means both dx1 plus dk and uh, dx2 plus xj is right, is correct. So now we get these two coordinate, which is uh, x, right? This is y. We need to check whether this point exists in the given points set. How to check that? Well, we can use a hash table. Uh, well, I think the simplest way is just use a hash map. The key is an integer, which is the x coordinate. And this set will be the set of coordinate y, because there may be some points they share the same x coordinate. So we just uh, check whether this point exists in the map. If it exists, we can calculate the their uh, uh, area by this formula. Otherwise, we just uh, keep checking. So this algorithm is uh, straightforward. We first uh, put all the points to that map. And uh, secondly, we iterate uh, the i from 0 to n because we will try to treat it as the point of the right uh, triangle. And then we try to find another two points which can form a 90 degree here. So we get a dx1, dx2, dy1, dy2. And uh, if uh, they can form a 90 degree, then we should uh, try to find the fourth point by this formula. If we can find it, calculate their uh, area. And uh, we maintain a global minimum area. OK, that's it. Let's write the code. We first need a map, which is a set integer. We call it map, new hash map. And uh, we iterate the points, point in points. So x will be point 0. Mm. OK, point zero. And the y will be point 1. And if uh, this map uh, uh, doesn't uh, contain this key x, what should we do? We should uh, put uh, x new hash set. And uh, we, put we get uh, this x and we add this y. So we put all the points to the map. Then we should, uh, because we need to uh, get a global minimum area. So at first, we initialize it to the max value. Then get uh, the n, which is the point star length. Then for int i equal to 0, i less than n i plus plus. And the second point, i plus 1, j less than n j plus plus. So now we can calculate dx1, which is the points j0 minus points i0. And uh, dy1 will be points j1 minus points i1. OK, then we try to get the third point, which is j plus 1, k less than n, k plus plus. So we can get a dx2, which will be the, you will see, which is k, ki, right? So points k0 minus points k, oh, sorry, this is i0.
dy2 will equal to points k1 minus points i1. OK, we check whether they can form a 90 degree. So if uh, you will see it's this part. So if dx1 times dx2 plus dy1 times dy2 not equal to 0, we just continue. Otherwise, they can form a 90 degree. We try to find a fourth point, which will equal to, we can use either of these two uh, representation. We can use just this one. So dx1 plus xk, which is points k0. And the y will equal to d, uh, dy1 plus points k1, right? OK. So if map get x not equal to none, and the map get x contains y, so that means exist uh, this fourth point. We calculate their area. The area will be mass uh, sqrt square root uh, of the dx1 times dx1 plus dy1 times dy1 and uh, times max square root d dx2 times dx2 plus dy2 times dy2. OK, if this area, sorry, typo here. If this area is less than minimum, then minimum just uh, be this area. OK, this formula is from this part. You can check it afterwards. OK, so finally, we need to check if, like this example, they cannot form a rectangle. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, rectangle. We just uh, return 0. So if minimum equal to double dot max value, we just uh, return 0. Otherwise, we return minimum. So we should uh, finish that. Oh, oh. Ah, sorry. It's not here. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.